Welcome back to the channel everybody. Yes, so yeah, with summer approaching, one of the key things that is missing from our caravan is a gas point. Um, yeah, we don't have one fitted as standard, so in this video I'm just going to go through how we went about actually installing this um, and hopefully this will give you an idea of how simple this process is. So just a safety point, I just want to sort of yeah make sure that's clear, is uh, yeah, whenever you're uh, making any changes to your, your gas setup, adding connections, hoses, whatever that may be, yeah, always seek professional uh, help in terms of that installation. Um, again, you do not want to be messing around with gas, especially if it's if you get it wrong and it starts leaking. That's um, yeah, a real no-no. So for us, for where the caravan is, I'm going to need to back that up just so I've got some room to actually get this installed. So uh, we'll get that underway, and um, yeah, hopefully, yeah, you find this video beneficial. So now I've got a little bit more room on the drive, I can get to actually starting the work. So the idea is obviously to put a gas point in around this location. So uh, yeah, first step is going to be uh, emptying the locker just so I can get access to see exactly where I want to drill this hole. So yeah, we can have a look at that. So here's our panel, uh, so I'm just going to need to be able to measure it put a, a sensible height in this location um, and then obviously drill a hole through. Uh, when it comes to actually connecting the gas up, obviously it's using this 8mm pipe um, and the intention here is to put a, a T-piece in and run it along and into the new connection. But uh, as I sort of stressed earlier, if you're working with gas, you obviously get a professional fitter to double check any of the work that you do. Um, again, you do not want to be having a gas leak, so unless you know what you're doing, again, seek sort of professional help. So when it comes to actually drilling the hole, like or anything, just make sure that you've measured up a couple of times, just got it at the right height that you want. Again, look on um, Google, look for other caravans, look at sort of the height that they have it, the position that they have it, try and keep it quite standard. Um, you'll need to work out what the diameter of the hole that you required is. Um, and um, yeah, obviously you, you don't want to be having to sand round or cut round it afterwards so make sure you've got the right size um, and yeah, drill the hole and uh, that'll be the next step but yeah, make sure you double check the location before drilling What you'll find is obviously you'll get through the actual shell of the caravan, this side, which is obviously um, a metal, we're followed by your foam, and then from the inside. So inside is probably going to be sort of a wooden batten. So again, it may take you a few attempts just to get through this. So, 
so all going well, you should have a hole and you can see inside your front locker. Um, so as I said, aluminium piece, followed by the insulation, followed by a piece of wood that's on the inside. Um, and again, they'll probably use any off cuts. So again, it'll be sort of the inside. Yeah, don't be surprised what you see, but um, yeah, you should have two bits of aluminium that you'll cut through to be able to get your hole. So that's uh, the first job. Like I say, make sure you get this diameter right. Um, what you're able to do is just measure from the, the points underneath, but make sure you get the, the measurement from here and not at the very top, because what you'll find is probably it's a little bit thinner at the top and you'll be then having to sand round. So yeah, just make sure you get the right diameter. In, in this case, for the Truma, it's uh, an 85 mil drill bit that you'll need, which will give you the perfect size.
so hopefully you've got to this stage okay obviously pilot holes for the screws um, then you want to use some Silaflex um, to put inside these don't come with a gasket um, to seal it between the caravan and the barbecue point um, and again put enough on there so what you want to be able to see is a when you push it in it holds it in place and then you can get your screws in but also you want to see a little bit of silicon come around the outside which tells you that there's, there's enough between the caravan and the actual point itself um, that way you know you're going to get no water ingress into the caravan um, and then it's just a case of yeah, just going around tidying this up um, and like I say to get to this top piece it's easy just to take the top um, panel off just so you've got access to that um, but yeah just be really careful when you take this off because obviously you don't want to snap it which is probably easy to do where it's only plastic and in terms of the screws you're not looking to try and ram them into the caravan just pinch them up tight with a screwdriver don't use an electric one you want to be able to feel that torque with your hand so yeah just pinch them up once the silicon uh silflex has sort of gone off as well a bit that'd be perfect and won't go anywhere but yeah do not over tighten these and make sure you've got a seal all the way around so what I'll do now is I'll just tidy up that silicon, getting that to where it needs to be, um, any excess off, get the panel on, and then from in terms of the gas point, that's that part installed, and then we can move on to actually the gas supply. So I'm just using a uh, smidgen of white spirit just to get rid of any of the, the marks around where we've put the sort of flex on. So if everything goes to plan, that's what it should end up like. Give yourself a nice, very thin bead of silicon or siliflex going around. So again, it gives that water seal so you don't get any water ingress into the caravan. And um, yeah, it should look nice and tidy just like that. So like I said, we'll finish up here now, just a quick tidy up and then we'll work inside about actually supplying this with a gas source. And as I keep stressing, when it comes to gas, only sort of go down this route if you know what you're actually doing in terms of being confident, again, and checking for leaks at the end. If not, probably the easiest and safest ways is to get a professional out, a proper service engineer, in terms of being able to fit gas appliances and they can at least check your work or actually install this part. Um, but yeah, crucial that you you know what you're doing on this part. 
So like I said, I'm gonna tee piece off the actual original gas source and go across to that just so again it it runs off the, the one bottle um, once it's all hooked up. And in terms of what we're gonna do next, I'll just show you. So this T piece will go here. It will be parallel going along the level across to the connection and on that connection I'll put this piece which will go that way and then it'll just be a case of fitting it and then bending it round and connecting it. And then that will be our gas source connected up via the regulator. Right, in terms of a new gas connection, that is it. T-piece is in, nice straight pipe going across and into our new gas outlet. Like I say, just take your time, there's no rush for any of this. Measure up on this piece here. I nearly cut it short, um, so I gave it right at the last minute. I did just uh, manage to think about what I was doing and didn't get the last cut wrong. Um, but yeah, like I say, take your time if you're gonna go down this route. The other way to do this is obviously just have a, a normal gas hose with a, a clamp on the end of it going straight into a gas bottle. I would say the only downside of that is you'll be using two bottles. You'd have one bottle for the actual uh, gas point and one bottle for the actual caravan. So you're sort of bringing both down at the same time where this method using the one gas bottle once it's empty you then move on to another full one and then you can replace this one um, so again it's sort of yeah just think about how you want it set up I, I think this is the cleanest way to do it and, and the most practical way but again it's entirely up to you but like I say when it comes to gas it needs to be checked righty-o so now it's now to test what you've done and hopefully it all works So yeah, you see that's working. I've uh, checked the front can uh, locker, make sure there's no smell of gas, tested the connections and everything. So um, yeah, all good, all set for the uh, next breakaway. Whichever part you're doing, uh, just like I say, just take your time. They shouldn't, don't rush these things. Like again, get it lined up. Like I said, make sure you're cutting the hole in the right place, getting it mounted. It's it's got enough silicon. Um, in this case, obviously Silaflex. So again, to make sure that it's got a proper seal around it, so you don't get any water ingress. When you put the screws in, don't over tighten them because again, you're not supposed to be sort of trying to th thread the actual. Um, screw. Um, so again just take your time with all these steps and, and whether that's on the, the actual putting the um, barbecue point in or whether it's actually plumbing in the gas connections depending on what route you go down. Like I say just take your time there's, there is no rush you don't want to be sort of cutting things short. Again as I say measure twice cut once is definitely the motto here so yeah like I say just take it easy take your time do it right the first time. So that's the installation finished at the gas point. Hopefully you found this beneficial. Obviously it's gone through all the different steps that you need to go through in terms of installing it. Uh, as I said before, when it comes to the gas, get a certified engineer to come in uh, and sign that off or, and install it if, you, if you're not sure on that front. Um, yeah, I really can't stress that enough. Um, like I say, this isn't a how-to. This is just showing you what I've done to get ours installed um, and tested. So again, it's sort of yeah, just to give you an idea of the the process in this point, in this state, in these steps. Um, but um, yeah, we'll we'll leave it there for today. Uh, if, like I say, if you like the video or have any questions, then yeah, just drop a comment below. If you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, that'll be amazing.